Hello everyone at YouTube. Well, this is not a tutorial or nothing, but I have a very serious problem, obviously. Okay, I got the HP uh, Pavilion uh, 6000, model 6000. Anyway, as you can see, this is the one I got. Might be a little hard to see, it's a little dark in here, but uh, but anyway, it gives you an idea. But Okay, this is what it's doing. Okay, like, when you reboot the computer, it's supposed to go to that flash screen you know and then you hit escape go to your bios but when I hit the escape key all it's doing is going to this little thing right here and I and when I click that or you know it really don't do anything but I'll go ahead and show you and demonstrate what this thing's doing now let me okay first thing <clears throat> this is another thing it's doing okay I got this new video card the NVIDIA it was working fine before until yesterday the card, sorry, it's probably hard to see, but anyway, it's right here. That's the new one, the NVIDIA card, and this is on board with DVI and the VGA. I got it hooked up to the VGA right now. So anyway, I'm going to show you what it's going to do when I just hit enter. I'll just hit the, that's the Western Digital, you know, the one that's in there now. All right. And starting windows as you see, but it doesn't go to that flash screen. It will now since I got the video cable to the uh well it's just the VGA with this monitor and I have the other monitor that has a DVI and I'll go through the steps on that, show you what's going on. And I'll go ahead and reboot. Or actually I'll go ahead and shut down, but I'll go ahead and pause it and just wrap I I, I gotta switch the cable out, so Anyway, let me move a few things out of the way. Move this a little bit so maybe you can see what's going on back here a little bit better. Oops, I don't want to pull my wires, but anyway. Okay, it's loaded and everything. Now, I'm going to show you what it's doing with the uh, VGA to this Dell monitor going for VGA and then... I'm going to go ahead and hook the other monitor up to it, which has DVI, but it won't show no flash screen. I'll show you exactly what it's doing. Maybe somebody can tell me. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, restart. Now, this is with this monitor with the VGA. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, this is how it'll boot up. Right there, that's what I should be seeing. But it went awfully quick, which shouldn't have done that. But anyway, uh, starting windows, as you can see here. That's what it's supposed to do right there, what it's doing now. But if I plug in my DVI over here, I don't think it was doing that. It'll go to the other screen like, uh, like this right here. It goes to this one. Just boots up, it takes a while, then it goes to this one. But it won't go to the blue screen with your BIOS and all that, which is not even going to BIOS anyway. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and shut it down. Let it load a minute. Alright, shut down. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this Dell. I'm going to take, that's the Dell, I'm going to take it, and I'm going to go ahead and put it on the new video card up here, NVIDIA. And go from there and I'll show you. Hold on. Okay, now I took the VGA off of the one down here that's on board. And then I took it off and put it on to this one here, as you can see, onto the new video card. And here in a minute I'll show you the card that I do have in there. NVIDIA XFX, something like that. But anyway, alright, we're going to go ahead and power it on. Now I'll show you what it's doing. And that's on the new video card that I put in there. And as you can see, it's not coming up to the flash screen. It ain't doing nothing. This is all it will do. And please go ahead and watch this whole video so you'll understand see what's going on. Maybe some technician, somebody that's computer savvy more than I am, which I know computers, but this is something I cannot figure out. And I just did a complete factory restore on the computer, just back to factory settings like you buy it brand new, which it has all that built in. Now when it do, okay, see how it's coming up there? That's all it's doing. It just goes straight to this screen. It didn't even come to that other part with the Windows flash part, you know. It didn't even come up the BIOS thing, you know, with that. 
setting the blue screen but anyway all right there we have it going to that all right now what i'm gonna do all right go ahead and shut it down again and i'm gonna hook the second monitor that's right here we're gonna hook that one up to it with the dvi right here oh and i do want to say this now when i got done installing everything it did come up it said cmd something not found or or something error or something i was like why does it give me error i just got done reinstalling the whole thing i don't get it but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and unhook this one the vga i'm gonna go ahead and hook this one back the uh hold on nothing what else is new all right hello and welcome back sorry for the interruption on the uh 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 Kali, uh, phone call. Anyway, as I was trying to say on this uh, video card, see where I left off. Oh yeah, I was going to take this one right here, the DVI on the second, or actually it's the, my main monitor. I'm going to go ahead and plug it up down. Okay, I'm going to put that on the newer video card. What I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Well, I gotta hold that because I don't have the cover for this. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back again. All right, now I got it on the the better monitor, the HP W1, ah, the 185E. All right, anyway, this is the video card that I have in the computer right now. It is the XFX PlayHard video card. Uh, the PCI Express, as you can see, and it's no fan, it's heat sink, same exact one that's inside there, it's just like that with the, the uh, S-Video, DVI, and VGA. Alright, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and move that over here and sit it right there where it won't get hurt. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and turn it on, and let me cut this light back off so it's, you know, interfering. Uh, anyway, we're going to cut it back on, and you'll see what it's doing on this monitor here. So far, nothing. Nothing. The yellow light's even still on down there. And it takes forever. The keyboard's not even lit up just yet. If you wait a minute or so, which that's on the other video card, I don't know any way to... Now there is a way to access it if I can get in my BIOS and then you turn on to recognize this newer video card. Okay, here we go. That's the first thing that pops up right there. And there's that screen. It shouldn't be popping that screen. It should be the BIOS screen. And it's not even coming up nothing. No blue screen or nothing from the DVI. And then we're going to go ahead and try that on this DVI down here on the onboard one. We're going to try that one also. Let me shut it down again. Oh, didn't finish loading. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm going to let, okay, this is going to pop up. Let me give it a minute. Now I'll go ahead and pause it because it takes a few minutes. Alright, here it is. Warning, the catalyst Control Center is not supported by the driver version of your enabled graphics adapter. Please update your ATI graphics driver or enable your ATI adapter using the Display Manager, which I went through all that, and I don't know how to go through that. I tried it, and it's not, I can't do that. But anyway, the only way I could do this was going to my BIOS. So, you know, you boot it up, and then, well, I did have a problem. My electric went out. Well, not the electric, but the uh, a breaker keeps tripping back there. Somebody's supposed to get it fixed pretty soon. But anyway, also my DVR Bunker Hill system, it got knocked out. Uh, you know, so I don't know what's up with that. I'll do a video on that later. Uh, just a system initializing. That's all as far as it go. I took the hard drive, you know, totally disconnected it. And... Boot, uh, powered it back on and all that, plugged it back in, still saying the same thing. So it's not the hard drive, it's something in the board. I guess something in that breaker knocked out my stuff and it might have did something here. I don't know. But anyway, let's get back to this. Uh, okay, as you can see, I got that DVI hooked into there. 
Okay, now we're going to shut it down. I'm going to take the DVI. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the onboard one and see what it does. So, I'm going to go ahead and shut it down. And we'll be right back. So I can go ahead and uh, hook it up. Be right back. Alright, we're back again. And I took the DVI off of the new NVIDIA video card. Put it on this one down here. And we're going to power it on and see what she does. Alright, let's go to the... That's the same monitor we was working with. Not that one. Not the Dell. This is the HP. Okay, there's the screen. See how it's going to that? Okay, now that's what it should be doing. It should be going that. Let's see if... Okay. Now see... Now it's going to starting windows with the window flash screen. It's supposed to do that. But if anybody can help me and tell me why. Uh, okay, see, now it's going to this welcome screen. Before it was just going to the welcome screen straight when I have it hooked up to the newer video card. Okay, now that's the problem I'm having. I do not understand what's going on. Uh, I can't even get to my BIOS or nothing. So let's go ahead and shut it down. And we'll hit escape and just kind of see what it's going to do. Shut down. And then I'll power it back on, which I should have done restart, but I'd rather shut down completely. And just hold on. Okay, now it's shut down. All right, it's totally off. And what I'm going to do, power it back on, then I'm going to hit the escape key. So here we go. Now, see, now it's coming right on like it's supposed to. Okay, escape. Loading boot menu. Okay, you know what? I, th I think I just seen something. Be right back. Anyway, it's just coming up that same old thing. Alright, anyway, it's just going boom. It goes up to that blue screen again with the BIOS thing, you know, where you're supposed to hit escape, but it's just going like that and real quick. Just. I can't even read the on-screen stuff. But anyway, it's just coming up too fast, which I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. I'll do a restart. <clears throat> and watch exactly what it's doing, but it's on the regular, the, uh, the in onboard one. See, now it's just going starting windows. Now it's just doing that. It didn't even go to the, the uh, other screen. Okay, anyway, anybody can tell me what's going on with this. I really appreciate it. Sorry I made this thing long, a long video. <clears throat> but I appreciate it if somebody can help me with this. And now it's coming to welcome and blah, blah, blah. All right. What I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to go ahead and put this other video card in and just see what it does. If it does the same thing. Man, it, I don't know. But anyway, if anybody got any answers, leave, leave your comments. Even send me a, 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 a video. Send me a video. If y'all know what you're doing. Like, uh, if you know what I'm doing wrong, I'd like you to do a video, a response to this video. And I'd appreciate it. Or send me a link to a video that somebody knows what they're doing, anything. All right, I appreciate it. Uh, any help I can get for this and I really thank you for watching. Alright, bye-bye and thank you.